time for the Bronson story because rainbows are ahead. Can you dig it? And so, love from love, hope from hope. There's Bronson. Look at that guy. But it's time for the magnificence of love to shine. Because you know what? I got to put on my Captain R hat. Are you ready for for that, says Mr. Pirate. I'm peeking over everybody's shoulder. <laughs> There's quote C. Lee in Bronson. But one thing for sure, it is time for a show and tell. Can you dig it? So this is called the show and tell uh, video of Bronson's toys. Because he who has the most toys wins. Especially if it's from the treasure of excellence. The excellence of treasure. Whom alone is the roaring lion of Zion who says, I don't love you. I adore you. And be nice to your parents, kids. Because the Lamb of God, he say unto all people with love. He say, have the kind of, in spite of love, love people through things. Have your love be loyal so it is love. Love that's not faithful isn't even love. Love that turns on and off like a light bulb. You can't count on that kind of love. It's as shallow as the person who's a hypocrite with their love. So get ready, because the rainbow of love is coming forth. Oh, there's a handsome guy. I recognize that guy. But this is going to be the most excellent program about Bronson's toys. And I hope that everybody get ready, because the, the eye of the heart of hearts is going to shine ever so beautifully over Trudy, too. And so it's time to realize that the Lord has given us toys so we could have fun because he knows that we like to have fun. All work and no play ain't no good. I played hooky today. Shh, don't tell the boss guy he's going to get me. He'll come and eat my brain. But I slipped out because I wanted to make me my rainbow. Uh, real, oh, there's my daddy. I loved Hubert C. And you know what he told me? He says, if you shit in my mouth, I gonna love you, Dan. I believed him. Because he had unconditional love. Doggies have unconditional love, too. Do you think that God could make a rock so heavy? Arr, that he could not lift it? Arr, I don't think so. So be good, swabbies. Set up the course now. Lift the anchors. Oh, uh, lift up the, the sails as we head towards the great sapphire sea, the sea where Grandpa had his nice hat, uh, the coonskin clan of the back hills of Kentucky, descendants of Jesse James, the black sheep who was a pretty good guy if you, when he was sleeping. And there is no good man, kids. Uh, Bible say, Romans 3.10, there is no good man, not even one. So we're no darn good, but guess what? We're pretty good. Most people are good because they, st oh, there's my favorite pirate of all, little Bronson. Arr, he was a pirate from long time back. Shiver me timbers. And he pushes people off the plank of, uh, right, in, right from, that's the, the very front of the ship, actually. And his steering wheel was always right up front where, I think that's his sister standing. But that's how he was driving the boat. And he'd make people walk the plank of unlovingness, if they'd be unloving. But there's the little guys. Uh, and there's my mama and my papa. And so, go to school. Mind your mama, mind your papa. And get ready now for the best show and tell that you ever did see coming up right now. Hey guys, I'm so excited. And so now it's going to be the best time of all. So get ready. It's time. And uh, clap your hands now, kids. Hey, 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 hey. Guess who? Da 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 da. <laughs> Welcome to the 
Captain R Show. This show is about Bronson. He's the new chief puppeteer of puppets for the kingdom of love. Because he wants to have some fun. So everybody needs to get a puppet and start making puppet videos about love. Quit being pirates of death. Go forth out into the deep. This is uh, this is Captain Snuggle. And Bronson always give Captain Snuggle a snuggle at nighttime. When he, uh, he always used to squeeze Kemba and give that lion a love. See, that's his tag. It's a love. A nice Art. Look at that guy. He He's just so full of love all the time. And Bronson used to give that guy a hug every night like he was the most comfort, comfortable comforter. And so our, I, I look a lot like that guy because he even have a, a hat. His is a captain hat, but I'm the captain of the pirate of love to go out to the deep, the treasure of excellence. And then he's going to walk, nee, 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 and then meow, right into the crystalline blue sea, the bottomless sea of God's love. And the next thing is Bronson's. He used to put this little music box in his bathtub and his mom and dad they say are you kidding me get that metal stuff up before it rusts all the heck and bronson says ah i like it rusty he says ah i like it that way and then uh he was a bad pirate and the mommy and the daddy weren't too happy but he hoisted the flag of fish because it's time to go fishing for soul. Because guess why? The sickle of love that he used and that I used is sharp enough to cut a soul right out of a spirit and vice versa. So come away with me and Bronson. Sail the sea of the crystalline sapphire sea, the bottomless sea of his benevolence, his charity, his love in motion like a, a beautiful poem. And so as we go, you hop aboard, and then we could say rooted toot toot to love because God's eye is on us, and it's like he's looking at us with his heart of hearts. And if we don't get with that electricity, we're going to get shocked the other way. Did you know, kids, that people that stand up against love, uh, they find out the hard way. They don't fall on the rock. They let the rock fall on them. And it's time we learn some lessons. So listen to Bronson and, and uh, Captain R here to go out into the deep. Because otherwise, if people quit being don't quit being shallow with their stingy love and don't start liking people, you don't have to like everybody, but you got to try to love everybody exactly as they are. No condemnation over anybody. It has to stop the insanity so that we could have a kingdom age. And nobody, anybody that doesn't want that, God say he got diarrhea, shit, dung, crap pie, and he's going to put it up their nose like a rubber hose, uh, and it's going to come out their ears and their nose and their mouth, and they're not going to have a good day. So that's in Malachi 2. Read it for yourself. It actually say that in the God's Word, because he say to all people, the message of Malachi 3, one, he say, he say to prepare his way, to prepare the way of love. He say, I am your God. You are my people of love, and I forgive all your sins. And and I will never remember. If he remembered it, he would be a liar. And his word would be toilet paper. So that's not true. He really does adore us. And not just love us. He adore us. Because we're fearfully and wonderfully are made in the image of love. So uh, it's time to get a boat like Bronson. And, and if you do, then we can all sail away together. And we can be... Like this guy, this is Bronson's uh, stone. And because Bronson always used to jump around and pretend like he was a frog. and uh, But you know what? The, the last laugh is on the little froggies because when they die, when they croak, then their little legs still kick lots of times. It's like if you cut off a chicken, uh, cut off his head, he runs around the playground. 
So Bronson found that out, and he thought it was possessed. He thought it was a ghost. He thought it was coming to eat his brain. So he was protected by love who saved him, and he was so happy he wrote a book about uh, his pet monster. So it's time to go out into the deepest deep of that tranquil, blissful, serene, beautiful sea of his love and the forgetfulness of his forgiveness. For love is forgiveness and forgiveness is love. You can't have one without the other. And God's heart of hearts attests to that. And the Bible also says so because you know what, what kids? Truth, truth is red and yellow, black and white. All are so precious in his sight. And so it's time that we realize more than ever that the Lord wants us just to go fishing sometime. And if we would, then he's going to send us like Charlie Tuna. And Charlie Tuna, he say, na, 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 na. And he's like a Beatle fan, eh? And he shakes his tail and he's got his hat. I would turn him on, but my batteries died. Murphy's Law, if it can go wrong, it will. It always seems to do that. But hey, don't lose heart because God's mercy and his love goes before him and never possibly ends. And at the end of his rainbow of love, there's a treasure tre chest waiting for us because he is the treasure of excellence. He is the priceless pearl of great reward. Now, this is uh, Bronson's baby plate. When Bronson was just a wee little guy, uh, next to a little grasshopper there. This was the picture that he always ate off of all his life. And when he first started using that ship as his dinner plate, he would never let his uh, peas touch his potatoes. Not once. He had to pee and pee. And then when he wasn't peeing and peeing with his plate, then he was peeing uh, outside in the sandbox and nobody knew because he pretended that that sandbox was really the real thing. So I had some pretend stuff sometimes and it's kind of fun, I got to admit. Now, what else does he have? Oh, okay. I guess it's time to resume normal programming. So we will come back at intermission break. Oh, I remember those days. Arr, it's time to look back. A blast from the past as my sisters and my wife. There's Mr. Wreck. That guy, he used to be a Grinch, but he found out it's better to have a big heart and just be a loving person instead of being religious. Lord, don't want nobody bad religion, unloving religion. We got to be good pirates and go out to the deep. Shiver me timbers, it's time, kids. And I keep playing me uh, oriental music because that little kid, one day he wanted to run away to China and he started digging in his basement and he broke into a bank that was underneath his house. And every, the guards came and he, he, me and grandpa, we was having fights with sharks. And that guy, he was wanting to be with us so that sharks might get us, but the cops wouldn't get, get us. So it was good that he decided to run away, and then he found us, and then we got a big shark, too. Oh, there's that guy, and Nicole, I think, is her name. And guess what? Nicole was a blessing to Bronson and vice versa, because all things work together for good for those called according to the purposes of love, because he's calling all of our names as if we were the only one. Oh, there's my sister, Cheryl. Uh, Cheryl May Ruth Owsley. And uh, she saved my life when I was 16. I, I would not have been around. Oh, there's Esther and Linda and Clay and me, and I got the sweater uh, for Christmas. Oh, there's the smartest little tyke. I ever did see. It's that Bronson guy. He went to university when he was just a little guy. By the time he was done the university kindergarten, 
that guy was part of the science rocket team at NASA, at least with the fan club, anyway. Oh, there's the doggy I like. Oh, and these guys, they was playing on the, how you say, they was playing on the trains, and Cole kept telling them, I'm the train, I'm the train, and he kept beeping, beeping, and Bronson was just holding on for dear life. Oh, there's Gramps, Gramps of the Owsley House of Owsley. The house that has a code of emblems, the coat of arms, the devil's hand, and the black wolf's mouth. <laughs> and death will not have the last laugh. Oh, there's that guy. Hey, come along with us and see the glory of the Lord. The glory of love will cover the earth as waters cover the sea, just like Trudy always covered up a colt and Bronson with kisses, butterfly kisses. Oh, there's a little colt seed leader. That kid was appropriately named. He ran like a little horse guy. And oh, there I am. There's my beauty picture. I actually had that made professionally. Oh, there's Rick and the big guy. Oh, and he says, enough of that stupidness. Let's go to some good stuff. Gramps and Bronson. and, oh, Grandma. Pfft, look at that smug mug. Smug mug. Oh, what a smug mug. <laughs> but he's laughing, too, because he survived a deadly uh, operation. He survived all good. Oh, there's all the, his whole family. And I'm holding little babies, too. Oh, yep, yep. Got to remember those little ones now. And Colt, oh, Colt C. Lee, that is the best Colt picture I ever did see. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there is Gramps and my whole family, Aaron and Esther and Jewel. Oh, Jewel's not in that picture, but Linda in that picture and Grandpa in that picture. And I'm the guy with the checkers. It matches Colt's sign. I like that. R, can you say that too? I thought that said reefer, and I like reefer because I need it for my medicine. I need it for my bad arthritis, and it's legal here in Canada, but I don't advise anybody ever use that stuff unless they really need to. And uh, you got to be careful you don't lose your balance with something like that because it could become no damn good if we using something the wrong ways, not moderately. It's killing us, people. we got to not kill ourselves, so we got to be moderate. If you drink, drink under the safe levels same thing and it's time to learn that our health is the wealth if we got not that but Bronson knew that and Bronson always was right he taught me almost everything that I know and when he was sleeping that kid was always just so good but I knew and he knew that he was under the the feathery whitest wings of his own guardian angel because uh, the Lord don't just love that guy a little bit whole lots devoted faithful his mercy over Bronson will extend forever and the love is the only healing that he needs and he knows that now so it's time that we got to be good pirates so get ready because now we're going to have uh part two of guess what yep 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 it's the show and tell so i'm gonna pause that oh i killed them i'll be right back